Hey, I'm Dadiri and I covered Wake Me Up When September Ends by Green Day for Lack like of Version. Summer has come. To be honest, my brother was hugely into Green Day when we were kids, so I heard a lot of it um, through the wall. It feels really special to be covering it and doing my own version of it. And I don't know if Lockie knows that I'm doing it, so that's exciting. I love that melody, um, spring begin. It's like, it's such a direct melody, which is a joy to sing um, whenever someone's written a really direct melody because you get to play with it and people know it in their heads. So when you do deviate, um, yeah, it still shines through. Wake me up when September ends. It's so direct and beautiful. Drenched in Those lyrics are quite sad and quite melancholy and I thought when we went to play it, we played it a few times in a few different styles. I messed with the lyrics a little bit, we played with the chords and eventually we just sat down and said let's play this as beautifully as we can right now and we did and it, it put it in that really delicate space where everything kind of zooms in and um, you can really hear those lyrics. Originally I just sang um, without playing the piano and there was, we just played it a few times and there was just this lift that needed to happen once in the song. When I sing that lyric, ring out the bells again, I just once played this rundown, the bring, 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 and it sounded, I was like, ah, oh, it matches the lyric really well. You know, ring out the bells again. And it, yeah, it didn't need much more. I know it's a lot to ask for a grand piano for a couple of bars, but it, um, it worked. You know, whatever the song needs, we're here to kind of serve the song. It kind of flows down and kind of collapses in this really slow um, formation where it's like, uh, as my memory rests, but never forgets what I lost. Everything kind of just breathes out. Take a breath. Lost. And then we go again, and everyone comes back in. And it just when we nail it, it feels really good. Um, but it's super hard to get those right. Um, you're under the microscope um, but yeah when that's good that's my favorite bit I think Missy Higgins did hearts a mess and I remember being so jealous <laughs> of her doing that because it's one of my favorite songs um, but she did such a beautiful job I've kind of learnt now like you just got to accept what people think of it because you either do the original and people go ah oh, they didn't do anything with it or you do something different with it and people go oh, it doesn't sound like the original um so you just have to do it with honesty and and really um yeah if if you do it with honesty people can tell because people love these songs for a different reason and you're coming to them um from your space i think it's a really cool pastime for australia to have this platform where people have to really like present themselves as an artist, not necessarily present their music. My bass player, Rory, has been telling me that he's wanted to do a Like A Version ever since he was very, very little. He's always dreamed of it. So it's really nice to make, you know, a few dreams come true here. It's cool. <laughs>